Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to our today's lesson which we are going to learn about molarity. But before I get into this lesson, I first have to remind you what we did in the previous lesson which we were learning about concentration of a solution and we said that concentration refers to the amount of a solute in a given amount of a solution. Amount of a solute in a given amount of a solution. For example, if maybe you take 10 grams of sodium carbonate in let's say 600 centimeters cubed of distilled water. 10 grams of sodium carbonate in 600 centimeters cubed of distilled water. Therefore, now concentration, since that concentration is now 10 grams per 600 centimeters cubed of distilled water. But now for uniformity purposes, they now ensure we see that this volume should be converted to, the volume should be converted to one liter. And therefore, if 10 grams are dissolved in 600 centimeters cubed, how many grams should be dissolved in 1,000 centimeters cubed? Or how many grams can dissolve in 1,000 centimeters cubed? And therefore, it is 1,000 times 10 divided by 600. And then from there, we are going to get the concentration. And the concentration will be concentration will be 16 point six 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 seven grams per a liter grams per liter or 1000 centimeters cubed that is what we were doing in the previous lesson and again we said that concentration can be expressed either as grams per liter or moles per liter grams per liter or moles per liter therefore in this lesson we are now going to focus on the molarity and i will start by defining what molarity is and we see that molarity is the number of moles number of moles per liter of a solution number of moles per liter of a solution number of moles per liter of a solution the number of moles which are contained in one liter of a solution that is what molarity is then it is expressed in moles per dm cubed or just molar molar and this capital M. It is expressed in mole per dm cubed or molar. That is how molarity is expressed. I want us to do some examples on the same and I will do one
that is one example. The question is determine the molarity of a solution containing 10 grams of sodium hydroxide dissolved in 250 centimeters cubed of distilled water. I want us now to do it together. In this question, we have now first of all to calculate the number of moles of number of moles of sodium hydroxide. And before that, we have now to calculate the RFM, RFM of sodium hydroxide. And the RFM of sodium hydroxide is 23. That is now the mass of sodium. Then you add the mass of oxygen, which is 16. Then you add the mass of hydrogen, which is 1. And this is now going to give you 40. Then we calculate now the number of moles. The number of moles are given by mass divided by the molar mass. Therefore, this will be mass is now 10 grams, which is 10 divided by, by 40, which is the molar mass. And this is now going to give you 0 point, or it's 0 0.4, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 moles. Those are now the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. The number of moles of sodium hydroxide are 0 0.25 moles. Therefore, to determine the molarity of this solution, then we'll just say 0 0.25 moles. These are contained in 250 centimeters cubed. You ask yourself, what about 1,000? Because molarity, they are contained in 1 liter. What about 1,000 centimeters cubed. It will be 1,000 times 0 0.25 divided by 250. You'll get this as 1. This is one, one mole per dm, one mole per dm cubed, which can also be written as one, one mole. That is the concentration of this solution. It's now one, one mole per dm cubed, or one mole per decimeter cubed, or one molar. That is the concentration of uh, one gram or 10 grams of sodium hydroxide dissolved in 250 centimeters cubed of distilled water. That is our first example. I want us now to do the second. And the second will be.
determine the concentration of a solution containing 20 grams of sodium nitrate dissolved in 500 centimeters cubed of distilled water. I want us to go through that question and see how we can be able to answer that question. We have first to determine the relative formula mass of sodium nitrate, which is given by the mass of sodium is 23, plus the mass of nitrogen is 14, plus the mass of oxygen is 16, but there are three atoms, then 16 times 3. Then this is 23 plus 14 plus 48, which gives us 85. The relative formula mass of sodium nitrate is 85. Therefore, we now start by getting the number of moles. These are now the number of moles of sodium nitrate. And the number of moles are given by mass, the mass which is 20 grams, divided by the molar mass, which is 85. So it will be 20, 20 grams, divided by the, relative, the molar mass, which is 85. And this will give you is 20 divided by 85 gives us 0 0.2353 mole. 0 0.2353 mole. That is the number of moles of sodium nitrate, which were dissolved in 500 centimeters cubed of distilled water. 0 0.2353 moles are the moles of sodium nitrate which were dissolved in 500 centimeters cubed of distilled water. Therefore, if now to calculate the molarity, we just need to ask ourselves if 0 0.2353 moles are contained. in 500 centimeters cubed, then how many moles will be in 1,000 centimeters cubed? Then this will be 1,000, just cross multiply 1,000 times 0 0.2353, you divide by 500, and this will be 0 .0 0 0.4706 mole per dm cubed, which can also be written as 0 0.4706 molar. Just capital M will be enough to, to show molarity. Therefore, that is how we are going about the questions. One, calculate the molarity, we are saying that you need to first get the number of moles. When you get the number of moles, then you can now be able to equate. If these moles are in this volume, then now what about a thousand? Because molarity, it is the number of moles which are contained in one liter. It must be one liter. Therefore, Number of moles contained in one liter of a solution, that is what molarity is. Then I hope now I have given you a good insight. Therefore, I want to leave you with some questions, which we are going to do. Then in the next lesson, we are going to do some of them.
that is the assignment. One, determine the morality of a solution containing 10.6 grams of sodium carbonate dissolved in a 250 centimeters cubed of distilled water and b 500 centimeters cubed of distilled water. The second question, when 34.8 grams of potassium sulfate were dissolved in 500 centimeters cubed distilled water, calculate the concentration of potassium sulfate in grams per liter and two, the molarity of the solution that have given you the relative atomic masses of potassium as 39, sulfur as 32, oxygen as 16. Therefore, ensure that you've done those two questions before we meet in the next lesson. And in the ne next lesson, we are going to revise the two questions and I will give you more questions in the next lesson. Therefore, let's meet in the next lesson. Thank <music> you.